back to my channel this is your girl Nicole Moza and today we're going to be doing something a little different as you can see I have the goths on my page and what I wanted to do was give all my townies a little makeover by using real people inspiration so if you like what you see please like the video and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can stay up with all of the sims shenanigans so as you can see here i found mortimer's inspiration and now we're moving on to bella bella goth um it was kind of hard to find a dark-skinned latino with uh, green eyes but uh, I ended up just choosing a, uh, a famous um, dark-skinned Latina named, um, I think her name is Joan Smalls. Uh, she seems to be a model, so I just decided to go with her. Um, I liked her whole vibe. I think her vibe meshes well with Bella's. Cassandra and Alexander Goth, the two, their two kids. Uh, Cassandra is a teen and Alexander is the kid. So for Cassandra, I wanted to go with this e-girl look, um, just solely because she was wearing a skirt and she had pigtails. And for Alexander, I decided to give him a dark academia look. So the inspiration that I chose for Bella Goth, Joan Smalls, uh, she was giving me a fashion forward chic look. Uh, so nothing too outlandish, nothing too gaudy, but fashionable, but also comfortable as well. So that's what I kind of wanted to do with Bella. I wanted her to still have her glamorous self, but also comfortable at the same time. So now I'm just trying to find a hairstyle for her. I really like that one. Um, but I thought it was a little bit too messy and I wanted something more voluminous and flowy, like that one. <laughs> uh, I'll be going back to that one. That's the one that I'm going to use. Yeah, this one right here. So now I am trying to find some good skin details for her. I added some frown lines for her, even though she's still quite young. She is a young adult. I just wanted to, you know, make her a little bit older. And like I said, um... Her fashion is going to be based off of Joan Smalls. And since Joan Smalls is a, um, it seems like she is a model. Uh, since she's a model, a lot of her outfits are business casual type clothing, um, also runway type clothing, but it's nothing really ever outlandish. And that's what I like about uh, Joan Smalls' looks. Uh, and I think it just resonates well with Bella or how I see Bella as. I see Bella as like a, a mom. She's a stay-at-home mom, but she likes to be stylish at all times. And as you know, the gods are supposed to be like this wealthy family, a well-known wealthy family, might I add. So I think Bella would want to keep up with appearances and also that's just her style kind of a little bit on the glamorous side but in a comfortable way I also wanted to make sure she showed her figure I think Bella takes pride in how she looks and um, she takes pride in her hourglass figure which she her body looks bomb especially in the um, red dress, the new red dress, not the old one, the red dress that you'll be seeing as her party wear, like she looks fit. I'm talking fit. I was trying not to make every outfit black and red. I mean, since she is a goth, I made sure I put in some Find the gothic essence into her clothing. I added um, as much black as I could, um, but I didn't want to have all of her outfits black and red. I wanted some extra colors, like a little bit of pink, 
one of the skirts that I chose for her everyday wear, uh, the skirt was like a tan, like a brownish tan color. Um, so just to break off from the um, same old red and black, I wanted to add just a little bit of pizzazz into her outfits. There's this one specific hair that I choose for this outfit that I should have just kept and used it for the other outfits. I go back and I change this um, hair, this specific hairstyle right here um, to something else, but I might just go back and um, use this hairstyle instead of the other one that I'm going to switch it with just because I like it with her everyday hair. So I really like to make sure I use the same type of like hair length and hair density with her everyday hair. I just think it's a seamless transition between each of her clothing. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna switch out the hairs just for y'all to know. Y'all look at this outfit on her. Look at her waistline. It is cinched. Okay, it is cinched. She looks so good with this outfit on, I swear. And the bathing suit that I choose for her is so Bella Goth. Like this one right here. The fake Versace. <laughs> it is so Bella. So her hot weather look was a lot harder for me than I thought. I thought it was going to be just like a, a shirt and like some type of skirt or um, short jeans of some sort but I thought it was a bit too casual for Bella Goth so I decided to um, pick out a dress instead and I found this one I thought yes this is this is fashionable it's um, stylish and also it looks pretty flowy and comfortable so that's why I chose this one But her cold weather look was super easy. Just a quick little cardigan <laughs> with a belt, um, a pencil skirt with a, a pattern on it, and some boots. Oh, but the boots, um, this is where I added a little bit of pink. The boots were pink, but everything else was like black and white. Um, I just thought I added a little pop of color, a little pop of style in there. So I think Bella would appreciate that. And so at this point, this is where I'm trying to find uh, an updo hairstyle for her hot weather look. And this is the hair, this is the hair right here that I choose um, instead of this one. But I definitely, I'm definitely gonna go back and switch the two because I like the first hair better than uh, the one that I have on now uh, for Bella. So, so yeah, that's the one that I'm gonna switch out. So right here, I'm looking at different pictures of Joan Smalls' looks, uh, specifically her makeup looks. I see a lot of um, smoky eyes. There's nothing too heavy uh, with her makeup. A lot of her makeup uh, looks are kind of on the soft glam or natural makeup look. So yeah, that's what I'm trying to convey on Bella Goth here. I do add um, accessories and everything um, off camera so you guys will definitely see that once I finish all of the Goths family's makeovers. Mortimer Goth here. Um, as you can see, the person that I chose to um, use as inspiration for Mortimer looks just like Mortimer, <laughs> but I will be changing that terrible mustache. I can't stand that mustache. It has to go. And 
I'll be giving him a mustache with more with more substance, you know, with more girth. This is the one that I went with. Um, I really like this one. So now I'm trying to find a hairstyle for Mortimer um, that doesn't make him look like a douchebag, um, which was pretty hard to find, not gonna lie. <laughs> but I do find one. I find two. Um, I think it's that one for his uh, formal wear and then so this one right here for his everyday or his regular hair. So the look that I'm getting for uh, Mortimer is uh, a vintage look, basically just a suit and tie type of wear. Um, I'm looking through pictures of um, Clark, uh, the actor and um, a lot of his clothes are um, button-down sweater vests, uh, a lot of suits. Um, I don't remember what what year he's from. I think I want to say the 20s. I also want to say the 40s. But yeah, that's the type of look that I was trying to convey in Mortimer. And honestly, all of Mortimer's outfits were suits, literally just suits, so it was very easy. <laughs> I just changed a few things here and there, but for the most part, uh, Mortimer's whole style was easy for me to um, pick out. And I added some more clothes on him for his pajamas and his swimwear because I don't want him to scare his children, you know, I don't want I don't want him to scar his children. And it seems like he doesn't really care. He's just walking around doing whatever he wants. And yes, he could, but you know, I care about his kids and their well being. And I don't want them to see him in a speed up. Okay? We don't want that. So we had to change that. <laughs> And poor Mortimer always wearing a suit and tie even with his hot weather look. So I wanted to choose something that was still suave, but you know was cooling for him. So now we have moved on to Miss Cassandra Goth and her emo, not emo, e-girl inspired look and I had a lot of fun with this whole look. It was kind of difficult because I didn't want to misinterpret the whole e-girl look but I think I did an okay job in my opinion uh, so I hope you guys like her look. There were some parts where I wasn't able to do a certain look that I wanted but you know, it is what it is with The Sims 4, and uh, I have accepted, <laughs> I have accepted Sims 4 flaws in every way, shape, and form. I think the hair for um, an e-girl look is very quintessential. The hair really pulls in the the whole outfit it really carries the whole outfit so some of her outfits I kind of acted like she's put on a wig in order to really finish the look while trying to look for accessories and things of that nature for all of the goths um, I realized that I didn't really have that much um, eyewear like glasses for them to choose from so I'm definitely going to be looking for some glasses for them because it was a barren wasteland over there and it is also because I hardly put glasses on my sims I just don't want to deal with it because I'll have to put glasses on ev on them every single time for every outfit and I just didn't feel like doing that. So yeah, I'm gonna be looking for more glasses. So right here, I was kind of feeling overwhelmed because there was a lot of items that I could choose from 
for um, her e-girl look. So I was feeling a little bit overwhelmed. So I was looking through um, inspo to kind of pinpoint what I really want uh, Cassandra to wear. And her outfit that I choose for her, I think is okay. I don't know. You guys tell me. I think I did a good, I think I did a good job. And as you can see, the look changes sporadically. I, I keep changing her outfit and I couldn't decide which one I really wanted. But once I did decide, I went with it and I was happy with it. I also tried not to use a lot of red in her outfits because I wanted it to be more on the kawaii, the very cutesy type e-girl. So yeah, that's what I was going for. Now for her formal wear, her mom definitely had a hand in picking out her formal wear. I can just hear Bella telling Cassandra, you know, I love your style, but this is a formal setting. So please, please just like tone it down just a little bit. And Cassandra was probably like, whatever, mom, fine. And Bella just gave her an outfit for her to wear and the dress isn't really that bad it's it's a nice um classic black dress well this is the outfit that i had such a fun time doing I knew what I was going for, I just didn't know how I was going to get there. But once I got there, it looked amazing and I love this outfit on her. This is my, I think this is my favorite outfit of all the goths. Her hot weather look is my second favorite outfit of all the goths as well. <laughs> so this is what I meant when I said the wig really carries the look because I feel like without this um, hair I feel like it wouldn't it wouldn't go far as it could and I think just with the with the wig that she has on I really think it just makes the outfit look 10 times better now not gonna lie her bathing suit was kind of like it went it went left and I'm not gonna change it I'm honestly not gonna change it <laughs> So with her hot weather look, it was kind of difficult for me to know what I was going for. But when I saw this butterfly corset, I knew like I had to use it. Absolutely had to use it. I don't know how, but I'm going to use it. And once I figured out what I could use with this butterfly corset, I it was it was done for. The whole outfit looked so good and like I said this is my second favorite outfit of all the goths. Now I tried to do the same thing that I did with her party look with her winter wear but I soon realized that I could not change the hair color of her winter wear without it changing the hair color of all of her outfit categories which is kind of weird in my opinion. I don't know why that is but it, it is. Um, and not only that, the hair that I use for her every day, um, <laughs> the highlights in the hair was not in the winter category, so I couldn't do that. So I had to settle for just giving her a little bit longer hair and made it like seem like they were extensions. But overall, I do like her winter outfit. The hair could have been something great, but it's fine. I think her winter outfit still looks great.
And we are now on the final stretch. We are with Alexander Goth, and we are going for the Dark Academia look, as you can see here. Um, I kind of had a hard time finding um, clothes that kind of fit the Dark Academia aesthetic. Uh, but I did the best that I could, and like I said before, I need more accessories, especially for kids. Uh, but I think I did a pretty uh, good job. His sportswear and his pajama wear, um, not pajama, just his sportswear, um, is going to look not Dark Academia. Um, it's not going to give Dark Academia vibes, but it'll give vibes nonetheless. So here I was just trying to see what type of shoes went with the dark academia aesthetic. And I saw a lot of, what are those shoes called? Converse's and dress shoes. That's all I saw, Converse and dress shoes. So <laughs> yeah, I thought it was just dress shoes, but no, they added some Converse, some dirty Converse in there too. No shade to Converse shoes. They just look dirty in the picture. Like they went through trials and tribulations. They went through life. I also wanted to make sure that I didn't choose outfits that looked preppy. Because um, I was like I said for the hundredth time. I'm trying to choose um, dark academia aesthetic. Um, and a lot of the kids' clothing has like a preppy vibe to it. And I love this outfit. It reminds me of um, the kid from the Adams Family. I was having such a hard time trying to find a nice dark academia uh, winter look. I don't know why I was having such a hard time, but I ended up choosing something that really went with the whole dark academia aesthetic. So um, I think it would be better if there was like a nice scarf, but you know, it is what it is. And here is the finished look of all of the goths. Um, so we're going through Mortimer, and this is, that was his everyday, this is his formal, his sportswear, his sleepwear, I put a robe on him so he doesn't scare the kids, <laughs> his party wear, his swimwear, his hot weather look. And lastly, his cold weather look. And here we are with um, Bella. This is her every day. She gets two because she's the queen. <laughs> and this is what her makeup looks like. And then here's her formal. Sportswear, her sleepwear, she has two. Her party wear, her swimwear, her hot weather look, and like I said, I'm changing her um, hairstyle. See her cold weather look. Very cute. Next we're on to Cassandra. This is her everyday look. Her makeup is so cute. Her formal wear. Her sports wear. Her sleepwear, her party wear, love this look on her. Her 
her swimwear. Her hot weather look. And lastly, her cold weather look. everyday look, his formal wear, his sports wear, you know, it's giving sport, <laughs> his um, sleep wear, his party wear, his swim wear, his hot weather look, and then lastly, his cold weather look, right here. So yeah, this is the end of the video. If you like what you see, don't forget to hit that like button and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again. Thank you again. Bye!